Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Cucina. Today we are going to do a um, a Costco halt. And I have to say that my big and impressive thing that I found at uh, uh, Costco was that you're able to do uh, to get uh, a turkey for 99 cents a pound. I haven't seen it anywhere else, but if you have, please correct me and tell me where you have seen it for less money. But I found the turkey um, and it was, um, I got a 19 pound turkey. And it's a butter, um, butter bowl. Um, and it was $19.50 for 19 pounds. So I definitely think it's worth getting it. I don't know if you have guys have seen it anywhere else. But that is definitely something that I haven't seen at Walmart. I haven't seen at Aldi. I haven't seen it anywhere else. 99 cents a pound. Haven't seen it. But if you have, I don't have an Aldi near me, but I have seen a lot of videos online and people have been posting that it's 109 or something like that but not 99 cents that's like 10 cents less than that um another item that i get oh my god a genesis is this tamales that they're, they're called the padrino tamales she love it and sometimes i'll feel one or two for lunch um and i do that my sour frito if you don't know what sour frito is go look at one of my videos you probably would know um and that's actually, I also got this, um, I got to taste the sourdough stuffing. So I think it was like a bread stuff, classic herbs. I love the taste of it, but of course you need to add more stuff to it. It was $5 and something for this big bag. And I think it's perfect because it has 32 ounces. And you can definitely do like a whole dish of stuffing if you want to with this. That's definitely what I'm planning on doing, doing the big stuffing because... I'm planning on doing a, a turkey and a panil. I'm doing both of them. So if you don't know what panil is, it's a pork shoulder. And that's what I'm planning on doing. And I normally do all my uh, meat at nighttime. I just leave it at 300 in the oven. And I wake up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. And it's tender. It's falling off the bone. And it's, that's how I like it. So if you stand up for those. Because I'm definitely going to season. Have to season out the turkey a video and how to do a pedanil seasoning which is almost going to be the same process but because i use the same condiments but up to you guys to decide pick whatever you guys want to do uh, another thing that we buy for for holidays is a lot of cups because you know holidays you have a lot of people coming over and definitely to have to serve and to not have to clean as much so that's always a plus um we get uh, forks and spoons from Costco. And I love the fact that they get 500 and they last us a long time. And, you know, we tend to use them a lot, especially with our girls, they tend to be like a little bit. If you need to fry something, this is what I get. I mean, you can choose to, to get something else, but this is what I get because it's more, less expensive. I buy this big, um, vegetable oil and when I need to fry something that's what I use vegetable oil oil why if you're frying you're not frying for too much you, you know doing my my frying stuff and normally it'll take a lot of oil you don't want to use your, your your olive oil or your avocado oil and things like that just for that specific and this is like $13 for two of these big bottles and they will last me for at least um I don't know how long, but it lasts me a long time. And I, I, don't, I don't try to see. Um, they have the bowls. I think they're normally $12. Now they're $10. So I haven't seen them on sale, but the fact that you have $2 off at Costco, that I think is pretty amazing. We got two of those um, because the girls normally have um, the cereals and stuff, and that will, that's where it goes. Um, so we also got a plate. Because who doesn't need plates during the holidays? So go pick up your plates. A Costco. Um, I I normally fix lunch forever, so I love putting a, a extra fruit or something. So I pick up the grapes from Costco, and I love that the fact that they are so big. They'll last us a long time, at least a couple of weeks. They will last us, and they don't go bad. The only thing I recommend buying is the strawberry. The strawberry go bad too fast. Unless you're gonna freeze them and you reuse them, that's the only time that I would recommend buying um, strawberries at Costco. 
because you get too much and you pay $7.99. I think I pay $7.99 for this. But you know that per pound is like four something at anywhere else. So it's definitely worth it. I love my wine at Costco. So this is my uh, Chardonnay uh, and it's like $7.99 and you have a big bottle. That will last me, basically it will last me a week if I ever I eat it. I'm not a drinking type, so I'll have a glass of wine maybe with dinner, that's it. And that's very rarely. It'll sometimes I'll leave it, cork it, and put it back in there, and I'll I can still have it. Well, the flavors might not be there, but you know, a glass of wine you can use it on your also on your cooking too. Also, uh, the positive side of that, uh, my girls always have chocolate milk, so we're running low on the next grill, chocolate milk, and this I'm not sure how much is it, but I. I definitely pick it up at Costco and that is actually pretty good uh, to pick up because you get a big tug and the price you can't beat it at Costco. Um, my girls like to snack on things so we get them this Nutella and then those are the, the ones that um, that they like. Um, they like to eat Nutella most of the time. Even Eva takes Nutella sandwiches for for lunch. So that's also a, a thing. Um, my girls, Genesis and Eva, love um, Cheerios. I they all, always like the, also the Fruit Loves Cheerios. And I, last time I, I hold four boxes of those because they were on sale. And I was like, okay, we're gonna last this a long time. But this is actually eight dollars for two bag, two pack bags of, uh, oh, two boxes of Cheerios, which I think is pretty good because it's almost like a four dollar per box. Go get that anywhere else. I doubt that you're gonna pay for one pound. It's gonna be eight dollars and something. So that's not gonna happen. Uh, we also pick up some water, and I think I want to say it's four ninety nine, but I'm not hundred percent sure. We pick up some water, um, and that is almost everything there. What else did we pick up? This was not. This is not gonna be a big halt. It's going to be like a mini halt from Costco. But um, I do recommend you going and getting that turkey from Costco because for ninety nine cents, I think it's worth it. Is the cheapest one I have found anywhere else, and I re definitely recommend that. I think I got a 19 pound turkey, and that was $19, so it was like 99 cents a pound, so that was pretty good. What else do we have here? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but even the milk at Costco have gone up. Uh, I think it was. I want to say it was six dollars and something. Now it's seven something at Costco. Of course, you get two of these for seven something. But I guess with everything going up, you can't expect too much. I guess you get two um, milks, and that is basically the rundown of everything that I got at Costco. It's gonna be a quick video. I hope you guys are able to get that turkey for. Um, for 99 cents a pound? Seriously? I haven't seen it anywhere else. If there is, I don't know where that is. But run to Costco, get that turkey because you're not going to find it cheaper anywhere else. Put it in your freezer or put it in your deep freezer. That's what I'm planning on doing. And I'll take it out like maybe two or three days prior to it so it can melt and I can season it. I'm not going to do the same thing like, like this la last year. By that Friday, I think I'm going to start um, taking it out. So that, I don't know. What is the best time to take out the turkey? Four days prior or five days prior? So then I feel like you'd have to do four or five days depending on how many pounds you have. So you leave me a comment and give me a recommendation on what time, when should I be taking out my, my turkey? Because last time it was a little bit too frozen, I have to say, and I have to work very hard with it and try to get it to uh, to to get better that way. But anyway, I am going to start uh, packing everything back into the pantry, putting my turkey, where it belongs and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if anyone's still looking for turkey turkey uh costco 99 cents a pound i think that's the cheapest you're gonna find anywhere else but i could be proven wrong too i don't know these people are going down on prices i i have seen all these have gone down on prices walmart they're still like 109 or one something so they're not 99 cents yet but that's 10 cents different that Costco is doing so that's a major uh when you multiply it it's 
99 cents a pound. I haven't seen it. And if I have seen it, I don't know why. Anyway, I'll see you next time on Bees Cucina. And this is just a short video. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. Um, remember that stuffing is on sale at uh, 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 Costco. Um, just pick, go pick it up for, for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is around the corner. Two more weeks and Thanksgiving is here. I cannot believe it. But I definitely made a point that if I was there and I saw the turkey that was cheaper, I was like, I was going to go to the commissary and pick it up. But I was like, mm, it looks good. 99 cents, you're not going to find it anywhere else, even if you have to pay tax for it. I'll see you next time. If no one told you, you're special just the way you are. I'll see you next time. Bis cocina. Bye-bye.